This is an Ellis Mowers and More small engine repair. Stay connected on Instagram and Facebook at Ellis Mowers and More. Comments or questions? Leave them below or email me, ellis at ellismowers.com. Parts used in today's repair are found using the links in the description below. And as always, like and subscribe for more small engine content. On today's repair, we're going to look at this Craftsman LT1500 lawn tractor made by MTD. It is a 2013 model year. Got it in a trade for a Craftsman LT1000. I got this and a Troy built that's a power mower engine that's a 2018 model. So, uh, fairly new. Um, the Craftsman I got for free, and then I got $300 plus the two mowers on trade after I had to put a front end in the Craftsman. I'll make a little bit more detailed video of uh, the trade sequence later on on the channel, so we'll see how all this pans out. But this one right here, the engine is blown sky high. I was told that the lady said that somebody that it sometimes had issues with it over revving and that um, she had somebody cut the grass or something one time and turned it on and didn't turn it off as soon as it over revved and uh, just went boom! So uh, that's the issue with this. I, I guess it's been sitting for a little bit of time. It doesn't look like it's been sitting for very long, maybe a year to a year, and a half, a year to two years maybe at the most or maybe it was just earlier this season. I'm not completely sure. We're going to throw an engine on this. The rest of it looks like it's okay. Um, I think the belts and the blades are okay. I may, may not completely sure about this one. Yeah, the blades are fine. And I'm, I'll check the belts as well. They seem to be okay. We just got to free them up from the pulleys. Yeah, the drive belt sound feels good too. So I'll show you the carnage here in uh, the next clip. And I've got a 19 and a half from a um, John Deere that should just slap right onto this. We'll get this thing out of here. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. So when I was looking around this, it does not look like it has the original engine on it because the date code for this engine is 2006, or at least it is on the valve cover. And this mower is 2013 model year from what I can tell. Where are we? Right there. 2013. Date of manufacturer, 3 of 2013. So, like I said, all the belts and stuff, I think, look like they're alright. They just haven't moved in a little bit of time. So, I just need to make sure I got to make sure I can free everything up here and that everything works like it's supposed to when it comes to that. Uh, and, but the real issue is right here. There's a hole in the side of the block. So, that's not fun. A huge hole. So uh, that's going to be fun uh, to change, but uh, not too bad. And I've uh, done this many a times. It should take just a few minutes to get everything swapped over. Uh, we've got another 15 and a half that I may just throw on here instead of a, the 19 and a half John Deere engine. I uh, just don't know the the uh, situation behind that 15 and a half. So I'll see uh, how that is, um, if it's turning freely and stuff. And if so, then I'll just may just throw that on here instead. Well, I got everything basically taken off, ready to take the engine off now. Uh, some of the things I wanted to save, unfortunately, the starter is seized up, so I can't save that. But I did save the flywheel. The flywheel's got a bunch of magnets coming off of it, too. So it's like, ugh. But um, either way, uh, it's ready to come off. I've unbolted the exhaust, taken off the carburetor, taken off the throttle cable. Uh, took off the fuel tank because there's a bunch of water in the fuel. This thing has been sitting for a little bit longer than I thought it did, I think. So um, got that going on. What I've also done is I've taken, what I'm going to do is put it on the mower jack jack it up. I took the front bracket off the deck so the deck will just stay on here but I'll uh, the front of the mower will raise up the deck will stay on the ground and it'll give me good access to get those four bolts off. Also the bolt to the double stack pulley there so I'm going to take those five bolts off which is the only remaining thing that I've got to do here uh, before I get this engine off uh, and then after I get the engine off I'm going to save the head and whatever else I can save off of it because I do need heads every once in a while uh, that 
uh, for mowers that come in that uh, have bad heads. So, and then the block will just be scrap, basically. We'll toss it in the scrap pile. So, and then we'll get the uh, replacement engine and uh, see if we can get that thing on here and get it running. All right, so got the bolts off. Again, as long as your double stack pulley comes off, it's easy peasy, especially on these cheap mowers. There's a lot of access to the engine, very easy access to the engine. So uh, should just be able to pull this thing off. Y'all can see the massive hole inside this thing now. Um, because of that, uh, this thing had an air oil filter on it too. So I'm wondering if this was like a, I wonder if they put an engine shroud on it. Whoa. got to do like that. I wonder if they put an engine shroud on it that uh, was lower horsepower than the actual engine on this because this is an intake with pressure lube. So uh, I don't know, but this thing is off. Uh, man, there's just chunks of mess everywhere in there. Uh, what I might do is go ahead and wash this and then prep it, uh, get everything prepped so that uh, it's ready to go for uh, engine installation. Let it dry off while I'm putting the engine on it. And uh, we'll see, you know, how all this works and uh, clean up my mess a little bit. And hopefully, I'd love to have this thing going by the end of the morning, really, and uh, see if we could get this thing moving on. But I do need to get all that cleaned up might as well do it while I've got everything off right all right so I got the engine that I at least want to put on this on hopefully this works um, the lower oil seal was gone off of it so I checked the or I was able to replace the lower oil seal actually with the one off of the blown engine because I didn't have one here and put some oil in it and currently it's not leaking so that's good uh, I was able just to take the sump off of the old engine and I just let me show you all some of the carnage here because it's bad. It's really, really bad. <laughs> so, and then there's some of the, I mean, <laughs> pretty, pretty bad. So, uh, but the oil seal was good on it, at least suspected to be. So, all I did was put the four mounting bolts on. I have plugged in the uh, connectors and stuff and I've got a jump pack to it so what I'm gonna do is throw a little bit of carb spray in it I just want to make sure that it doesn't sound like it's massively knocking I did put a little bit of oil in it I think I just mentioned that but let me let me just see if it'll number one turn over it does have compression but I hear a little bit of and I don't know if that's valve related or not so let me, before I pull the valve cover, let me check here. See if we've got any sort of fire. That's promising. It's really promising, actually. That sounds fine once you get it up in the higher RPM. So I'll keep... I'll keep rolling with that. Uh, that's really good. Uh, so I am, let me just make sure I'm not gonna leak any oil down here. I don't get a flashlight on it, but I don't see anything yet. So that's good. Um, let me go ahead and hook everything else up. I got a bolt here for the exhaust I gotta do. Um, fuel lines and all of that over here, throttle cable. Uh, and I might just try it with this carb to start. If not, I may just slap the other one on or try and clean this one or something like that. Because uh, I just, you know, don't, don't know yet. So, how well this is going to work. So, I think I will go ahead and fasten these bolts down for the 
engine covers and such because uh, I think that will be good in that aspect so let me go ahead and take care of that and I'll be right back with you all right so I've put some gas in it uh, I do need to make sure that the oil is good I did just throw some oil in it I need to put a little bit more in there let me take care of that be bad to blow up an engine that Whoops. You know, it's always good to make a mess. Uh, so, I'm going to check one more time. That appears to be good. So, uh, let me, I got a battery out. Uh, I hear the solenoid clicking on the card, so that's a good thing. Let's see if this thing will start for us. But, uh, yeah, so that's super nice. Oh, this is this maybe a little bit set up a little bit differently than I thought. There we go. <laughs> maybe that helped a little bit. back together uh, got a bolt to put down underneath the muffler there and a couple of other things so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of a lot of this stuff uh, 
and I'm gonna put the oops, put the double stack pulley in and everything back on as well. And hopefully we have a dr we have drive and we have uh, mowing after this as well. If that's the case, then we're in great shape when it comes to this machine, and uh, should be getting pretty close on it already, which is great. Yes, yeah, so I just threw it all back together here for right now. I got everything attached, hooked up throttle-wise and deck-wise and drive-wise. I put the double sack pulley on underneath. You just have to match the key up to the keyway on the crankshaft and uh, that run, or that allows it to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna see, see if this thing will drive itself out of here. A little concerned because I just don't know if the pulleys are seized up or anything on this. So uh, let's try. some blades on it and see what happens. good actually um so that's that's really good i just need to 
uh, do a couple little small things cosmetically like check the blades level the deck and things along those lines this thing will be ready to go I'll put some LED headlights in it clean the headlight lenses up a little bit shine it up some but uh, I don't know why it didn't want to start there originally Let's see if it'll crank back up Kind of weird but uh that's all i got time to do today with this i might be able to get it back in later this afternoon depending on what time i get back home i gotta do a couple mobile repairs so i'm gonna tuck this away behind the uh behind the garage uh underneath some shelter and uh hopefully uh be very close to being done with this uh when i get back I just clean it up for the second time with the engine. This mower really cleaned up nicely. I don't have another one of them, unfortunately. But uh, turned out good. I'll just move it back and forth to see how I can see the LED headlights and all that good stuff. I started on about 8 uh, and we had to change the oil seal out on the bottom of this engine I was actually really surprised that it fired up uh, just right off the bat because this carburetor and everything was has been on this engine sitting in my shed probably for a year to a year and a half now and who knows how long before then but uh, it's not leaking any oil anymore it's running good and uh, the, you know the deck and the drive and all of that works good so I uh, just freed everything up of course the spindles and everything the bearings are going to be a little bit louder than a than one in a little bit better shape but that's pretty typical for these so um, surprised at how well it turned out the LED headlights make it look really good and uh, just have a little cosmetic issue with the seat there on the side looks good otherwise put a battery in it um, level the deck the air filter was uh actually too small on this i found one that was in good shape so it's good um and drained the tank completely out because it was, seemed like there was a bunch of water in it and uh then i get to have fun and finish breaking down that engine in there uh that is a complete complete disaster so uh blew it sky high but uh, this one hopefully will not blow sky high for the new owner. I'm probably going to list it for $625. It's a little bit late in the season. So if I get $550 for it, I'll be happy and I'll be doing good. Considering that the mower that I sold this lady that traded me these, the mower was free. I had to put a front end on it, that an LT1000 Craftsman. And on top of it, I've got a Troy built sitting over there that I got running today, and it's got the power mower on it. It was just missing a wheel. I got it running. It's running, driving, and cutting, and probably just needs some carb work to get it gone. And we'll see if we do some trades on that. I've got a separate video brewing on how much money we can turn a free Craftsman riding mower into, and uh, that's going to be part of that if it's not its own separate video. But as for this one, we are done. Engine swapping this, uh, what was a disaster, uh, but really it's not. Uh, it was basically an engine, and uh, freeing up some pulleys, 
and that's about it really put a battery in it um, so I'll take it for sure I do appreciate y'all watching uh, thanks so much for the support the season's starting to quiet down a little bit around here I still have quite a few customer mowers that have come in in the past week but uh, still being able to turn some of my own stuff around too got to get some customer stuff out especially after I get this and I get that Troy built done probably gonna get get some of those knocked out uh, here later on in the month of September this is about September 5th when I'm filming this thanks again y'all I appreciate the support Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and I'll catch y'all on the next one.